growth enables us to produce more goods and services. This process consumes capital and gives rise to externalities. Two problems arise. How can we manage the consumption of capital to avoid exhausting its supply? How can we manage the side effects of growth? These problems are at the heart of the ecological limits to growth. The notion of sustainable development emerged to address these issues. It is defined as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Brundtland Report Using GDP as an indicator of the wealth produced is sometimes criticized because it only represents the value of economic trade. GDP only includes the change in wealth generated by production activities and does not include stock market gains and losses, for example. Voluntary and domestic activities are also excluded from GDP. On the other hand, activities that are generally considered to be negative or harmful are included. For example, a traffic jam will create GDP because oil consumption increases. GDP reflects neither the nature of the economic activity nor its impact on the environment. The first impact of growth on the environment is related to the overpopulation of the planet and the resources consumed by its citizens. Demographic forecasts indicate that the global population could exceed the 9 billion mark by 2050. However, global population and natural resources are evolving in opposite directions. As the size of the population increases, natural resources fall. Economic activity produces waste that modifies, alters or destroys the normal functioning of ecosystems, whether at a local or a global level. Soil and water pollution and carbon dioxide emissions are also serious ecological risk factors. For example, global warming caused by greenhouse gases affects biodiversity, melting glaciers and ice flows. Numerous technological accidents have also taken place over the last century. The explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear reactor in Ukraine in 1986. The accident at the Fukushima nuclear power station in Japan in 2011. And oil spills such as Erika in 2002. Drag the elements and drop them in the right place to reconstruct the three pillars of sustainable development. Carefully check the answer.